The United Kingdom is host to many of the most beautiful cars in the world, but it also has its share of ugly vehicles. From a distance, you may think these ugly cars are just unattractive, or you may completely disagree with us. If so tell us in the comments, and please add any car models you think we may have missed. Here we look at 10 of the ugliest cars sold in the UK and rank them from least ugly, 10, to most hideous, 1. We hope you enjoy learning about these not-so-pretty automobiles as much as we did putting together this list. 10. Reliant Robin. Now unlike many of the other vehicles featured in our top 10, the Reliant Robin was actually quite good. Ugly, but good. The Robin can claim to be the second most popular fiberglass-made car of all time. It has a production run of nearly 30 years and appeared in all kinds of popular culture like Absolutely Fabulous and in its Reliant Regal Super Van Guys famously in Only Fools and Horses. However, it has looks that can only be described as oddball. 9. Morris Eitel. So the design meeting at Morris went along the lines so we have to replace the marina with something fresh and new. Let's put new headlights on it and call it something trendy and foreign sounding. After struggling for a while, they came up with the name, ITOL. Job done. Sadly, it didn't work out. The awful looking car was replaced by the Maestro in 1984. 8. Rover City Rover. Brought to the UK in the dying embers of Rover's demise, the City Rover was a rebadged Tata. Hoping to provide a budget, circa £5,000 option for bargain car buyers. It proved to be a massive letdown. Poor build quality dogged its reputation, the dashboard was said to be held together with wood screws. The City Rover had nothing underneath to make up for its underwhelming looks. At least Top Gear saw something good in it as they placed it only second in the worst cars of the last two decades. 7. Suzuki X90. Like others in our list, the X90 can be viewed of its time. But its time soon ran out. It can be argued that the X90 was a trailblazer paving the way for compact crossovers. It was still ugly though, even by today's standards. 6. FSO Polonaise. To be fair to the FSO, there are any number of late 70s and early 80s cars from the Eastern Bloc that could have been included in this list. Let's just say the Polonaise represents them all. In common with many, the Polonaise has its ancestry underpinned by an old Fiat. In this case, the Fiat 125P. The problem with the Polonaise was that this was the same Fiat 125P used on its predecessor, the Polski. That made the Polonaise very much out of date from the start. The answer? Make the body look out of this world. And they did just that, it looked like it came from an alien planet. Presumably, the production included some time in a vice to make the body as narrow and long as possible. The addition of a sports kit later did nothing to aid its looks. 5. Citroen Amy 6. Just six years after the iconic DS, French car maker Citroën launched what could be the worst designed car of all time. If this car came from design school, it must have come from the reception class. The rear view is just hard to understand. This is possibly trumped by the oddly melting bonnet to the front view. Not one of Citroën's more iconic moments. 4. Sangyong Rodius. Whilst neither too distasteful nor remarkable from the front, the issues with the Rodius are clearly from a rear. It appears that the design team could not make up their minds. So Rodius' biggest question is what is going on, where it looks like two designers simply could not agree if it should be an estate or a coupe. The answer? Let's do both. Needless to say they were both wrong. 3. Nissan Cube. The Nissan Cube started production in 1998 and was discontinued in early 2019. The Cube was supposedly designed to look like Pac-Man, but our love of this car comes more from the fact Nissan ever thought it was a good idea in the first place. 2. Chrysler PT Cruiser. What makes the PT Cruiser a potentially controversial choice is that it was quite a reasonably popular model when it was released in 2000. Initially swept along in a retro wave sadly, the PT Cruiser has certainly not stood the test of time. The large boxy body is overshadowed by a V-shaped front in the car's design. The different colored plastic bumpers in front and back of the PT Cruiser do nothing to help its looks. They even produced a convertible PT Cruiser. Less said about that, the better. So to our number one. In our view the ugliest car ever to grace the UK roads. The Fiat Multipla. We are not sure how many of the car buying public Fiat actually consulted about their Multipla design prior to launch. 
not many, we think, as it's comfortably made our list of the 10 ugliest cars ever seen on UK roads. While the Multipla may be ugly, it drives pretty well. It was also really practical with six seats. However, overall it is no surprise when Fiat decided to give it a much-needed facelift in 2004. Perhaps a bit better. If you like what you see, please click like and also subscribe.